Hello, welcome to the series of A Spice Sessions. Today we will discuss about SIS 5 system qualification testing. So, this is Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spice expert. So, being a subject matter expert in A Spice, so I have come up with so many products in my lifetime. So, at a time being a quality person, uh, so I have uh, I have worked with multiple projects at a time. So because of it, like I got exposed, I got a chance of exposing to multiple products at the same time. So uh, I can explain much more better. Uh, so the purpose. So let us get into the details of the system qualification testing. The purpose of system qualification test process is to ensure that the integrated system is tested to provide evidence for compliance with the system requirements and that the system is ready to delivery ready for delivery this is the last testing which we do for our system or for our product so it it is about uh, the whole product we are testing uh, this is this testing is completely based on the system requirements. So you have a system requirement specification from your customer or technical requirement specification which is developed from your customer requirement specification, right? So with that we have to with that uh, verification criteria which is documented along with the system requirement. So we have to write these test cases. And we have to test the entire system and this is the last testing which we carry out for our product. Okay, uh, process outcomes, a system qualification test strategy including regression test strategy consistent with the project plan and release plan is developed to, the, to test the integrated system. A specification for system qualification test of the integrated system according to the system qualification test strategy is developed that is suitable to provide evidence for compliance with the system requirements. Test cases included in the system qualification test specification are selected according to the system qualification test strategy and the release plan. That integrated system is tested using the system selected test cases and the result of system qualification tests are recorded consistently, consistently and better, uh, consistency and better traceability are established between system requirements and test cases included in the system qualification test specification and between between test cases and test results. The results of the system qualification test are summarized and communicated to all affected parties. So I have read all these process outcomes because I will go through this in detail in, in terms of best practices. But wherein like you know uh, as I said so we have to execute in, in for the whole system. We have to execute the system qualification test to the to the whole system we have to ensure and we have to record those results also in a tool and we have to ensure the consistency and bidirectional traceability also in the uh, in in, in uh, throughout the throughout this uh, test procedure so coming to the base practices bp1 talks about develop system qualification test strategy including regression test strategy so uh, whenever I, I talk about the strategy, strategy is like how you are gonna uh, dev, uh, test it, how you are gonna uh, you know uh, put it together or assemble it together or this is a strategy okay and develop this develop a strategy of first system qualification test consists with the uh, project plan and the release plan because so we might have promise the uh, client or the end customer that we will release this particular product see we might have marketed it uh, so we might have uh, uh, marketed in that in in a way like you know by by jan 2021 uh, we will release uh, the so and so car with uh, so and so infotainment or uh, so and so technology in the edas uh, so this is automated uh, this kind of marketing we will do right so that is called the release plan so out out in the market marketplace it will be uh, 
and we have a project plan in place wherein like we have what all the features feature wise uh, schedule and feature wise effort estimation is there in the in these documents this include a regression strategy as well so uh, so we have to we have to define a strategy based on the based on your uh, project plan and release plan and even you have to develop a regression strategy to retest the uh, integrated system if the system item is changed so in terms of changes to the systems we have to uh, test that patch with the impacted uh, impacted elements impacted uh, so system elements as well so uh, this is how we have to write the strategy first thing is normal strategy normal strategy based on your uh, your system requirements and uh, the project plan and the release plan uh the second thing is your regression strategy to test the change bb2 talks about develop specification for system qualification test specification is a set of uh test cases so develop a specification for the system qualification testing including test cases based on the verification criteria defined in the system test strategy okay test strategy we have a document in place right so we have system requirement specification as well so system requirement specification for each and every system requirement will have a verification criteria which is defined along with the system will along with the requirement based on these things we have to develop a system qualification test specification we have to cover each and every aspect of the each and every requirement whether it is functional requirement non functional requirement interface requirement these all should get cover in your system qualification testing so how will you ensure it with bi directional traceability right bp3 talks about select test cases so uh, why it is talking about selection of test cases is like you know when you are doing a test when you are running a test Uh, system test so first firstly we will run a complete cycle of the system testing but uh, after some time you will get a delta or you will get a change in the requirement so that's when you will run it to the particular patch or particular uh, module or the particular element of the software of the of the system uh, or the uh, impacted elements of the system so this is how we have to pick or we have to select or we have to tweak out some of the test cases from the existing uh, system and we have to run those particular test cases selected test cases okay bp4 talks about test integrated system test the integrated system using the selected test cases record the first we have to run the testing and we have to record it in the record the test results so whether it is passed or failed or you know if it is failed what is the bug id uh, which is uh, which is recorded in the in the your test management tool and uh, we have to uh, put the logs as well if you have any like uh, you know while you are recording the recording the bug you have to uh, attach all the necessary evidences that i have observed this particular bug at this particular you know input criteria like when i have uh, set this system at this uh, so and so settings and when i executed this then i have seen um, this in at this particular scenario it is not a continue it is not always bug it is sometimes bug something like that we have to mention right so that all we have to define in with an this log will act as a evidence for that bp5 talks about established bi directional traceability so this bi directional traceability ensures us that we have adapted a proper system or not we have we have developed a proper system or not what all the traceabilities we have to ensure in case of uh, qualification testing is system requirements to system requirement specification to system qualification test specification interface system interface requirement specification to system architecture test specification and uh, we have system qualification test specification to system qualification test results okay three different traceabilities we have to ensure or even even the in this even the uh, change requests also comes comes in place right so that particular change request traceability change request change request traceability to your system qualification test specification while you are picking or while you are you know selecting the test cases so you will ensure on uh, the impact analysis as well right so we have to ensure the traceability in between 
so i am repeating it again we have to traceability we have to ensure the traceability in between system requirement specification to system qualification test specification and system qualification test specification to system qualification test results okay this is one thing then system required system interface requirement specification to system qualification test specification and system qualification uh, system qualification test specification and from qualification test specification to test results okay and the third one is your change request and impact analysis uh, to your system qualification test specification and your test test results as well pp6 talks about ensure consistency ensure consistency is in between uh, uh, your system requirements and its uh, and the in system qualification test testing activities test cases and the test uh, test results so every time as every time i say like by, we have to ensure uh, the consistency by establishing a bidirectional traceability including the review records if the review rec review activity is properly done and the bidirectional traceability is established proper then we can ensure on the consistency of it like we have covered this much of this much of requirement requirement coverage we can come up with bp7 talks about uh, summarize and communicate results so uh, the qualification test results are there right so we have to communicate to the all affected parties we have to communicate it to the client we have to communicate it to the stakeholders whoever is involved in the project so how will you do it is like while well, well, you can do it by sending an email you can do it uh by uh, by embedding it into the uh, status report or uh, you can do it by you know verbally communicating that i have i have checked these all checked in these all uh, uh, test results in so and so configuration management tool or the configuration management tool will get and will have an automated automated emails emails whenever you check uh, that particular client deliverable folder then the client or other interested parties will get an automated email so this is how you have to ensure the ensure on uh, on communication uh, records so what is uh, uh, what are the outcomes of outcome of it our output work products from the system qualification testing is your system qualification test specification system qualification test plan communication record is uh, is like uh, review records review record for your specification for your strategy for your uh, test results as well you have a traceability record and you have a test result also and you have logged bug which is there in your bug management or the test management system if you like this concept subscribe to my channel thank you so much for hearing this thank you